A 23-2-2 season last year led to the Bemidji boys hockey team's second straight trip to state and a consolation title. Now the Jacks are back with their eye on a third straight trip to the Excel Energy Center and a much bigger prize. The last time the Bemidji boys hockey team made consecutive trips to state, they had to wait nearly 30 years for their next trip. But the Lumberjacks have no such plans to wait that long again. I expect nothing less than to be there again. You know, the first two times was unreal, and uh, I really want to experience that again. We do believe as a coaching staff we have the, the right combinations and, and the right kids out here, uh, and uh, we fully believe that we're going to be there again. And, and uh, I know this group is very excited, and, and they fully believe we're going to be back in the state tournament. The Jacks return their top two-point scorers in Alex Pollock and Brady Tatro, but they lose 10 players from last year's team who accounted for 209 of the team's 324 total points. Every year you lose players, you know what, and then the next kid has to step up, and, and the reality is we do have the right kids to step up. We have some uh, obviously new roles for guys that they're going to step into, but the Ryan Pogues are going to step up, the Noah Nyes, and all those guys that, you know what, played a role for us last year, but now they're going to have a bigger role. And despite losing those 10 players, they're still an experienced team returning 13 players who contributed significant ice time last year. There are a lot of kids that have played a lot of varsity hockey for us that are ready for this position and ready for this job. And uh, you know what, uh, we're going to be just fine and we're going to have a solid three lines and, and a solid uh, decor back there and our goaltending is going to be outstanding. And while they admit there are still areas they can focus on and improve in, if everyone buys into their roles, there's nothing that can stop them from a third straight trip to state. We got some work to do, you know, we got a lot of young guys coming up this year, but they're willing to follow in the footsteps as a team last year, and as long as we work hard, we, we have a pretty good chance of making it back. We have the, the pieces to put in place, the guys just need to buy into their role and play their role to the best of their ability. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.